I wanted to show you a few things. This is exciting. We're going to do something a lot of fun with this bag. I just like the shape of it, and I thought, wow, this would be a really good bag to be able to style up. Start with just peeling out the old paint. It was right out of the bowl. I used to make paintings with this. We would cut up the <laughs> acrylic into different colors and then glue them on to make an abstract painting. Kind of cool. Just a little fabric medium, some yellow and red. Gonna make a fire red, orangey, kind of vermilion. There we go. Usually you have to do two or three coats of acrylic paint to be able to get a nice solid coat. It's really great getting your input to hearing comments because it gives me a better understanding of how I could alter things and you know you're, I love uh, collaborating with ideas so thank you so much for helping Heather and I with all these projects in your comments. I like this jacket, but I thought it was kind of plain. It fits well. I really wanted to do something with it. It just gave it a little bit of a unique look to it. materials the paint's a little harder to work I guess I've always loved nature so incorporating nature into an image I think it's therapeutic to look at I like to be nice and quick when I do this. Not think too much. The quicker you do something, the less thought that's going into the process. And I find that that can really add to the detail of your image. So far this is what we're looking like. Just a little bit of detail to make the jacket come to life. And I think I like it. I, th I think this is uh, it says legacy. It looks like to me that this is a pajama top. And I really like the boxy look to it. Uh, and I love the colors. But I think it looks a little too much like a pajama top even with the sleeves rolled up and I just kind of wanted to do something with this that makes it a little bit a little bit more stylish Well, just following the patterns that I see, just kind of straighten up the bumpy, get a nice curve to it, makes it feel good. Not thinking too much. It's 
slightly different shades of brown here. Just mix some blue and silver together. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just having fun. Usually when I don't don't know what I'm doing, things come out pretty good. This is a good way just to get a lot of paint on at once. Then I'll reform the shape. I know it looks like speckles, it's kind of messy looking, but it gets it on uh, fairly thin, so I can kind of just fill in the areas I want to. I absolutely love it. And now I'm going to steal it back. Just kidding. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> no, I'm you just kidding. I'm happy for you to have that it. That is really nice, Dave really nice I just loved it he had it hanging up and I walked in to the art studio and I just went oh my goodness <laughs> it's just amazing how simple you can add a little bit of color to a, a simple bag and just make the whole the whole thing pop <laughs> I love that yeah that is really cool and our daughter Madeline saw it and I think she wants to take it too <laughs> <laughs> so this was a tuxedo top Oh. It was in the men's section and it fit me pretty well, but I wanted the shoulders to be puff sleeve. So I watched a tutorial, uh, Blueprint DIY. She shows you how to make several different types of sleeves. She has a lot of great videos on Oh, there. she sure does. She really does. She even has her own clothing company now and she's selling her clothing, her own designs. I watched it a few times and this has taken me quite a while to do this. At first, I didn't have enough of the fabric. It actually takes quite a bit of fabric to make puff sleeves. And you wanted to have it fairly matching. And this is kind of a, it was kind of a tricky color to find the same, uh, the same color. And then I took the uh, sleeves, and the sleeves were longer originally. These ones actually go up to my shoulder here, or to my elbow, and then they, have like more of a dramatic effect, you know, if you kind of imagine that. And I will try it on. I still have to ham it. I know, I'm going to finish this up cycle once and for all, and then I'm going to wear it. I was trying to, what I really love to do, is I'm seeing these long collars, the long pointy, and I was going to try and take a collar from another shirt and kind of add it on to this one, but it's really hard to get the form. And so I, I don't know if I'll do that with this one, but I may try that in a future upcycle. But anyway, so far I do like it. Oh, I love it. I, like I can't it. wait to see it on you. Yeah, I'm going to style this one. I have kind of an idea of what I want to wear with it. Keep having fun. We love you. Love you.